Yeah, I do. The phoenix was around helping me paint. I could tell there was something on his mind, but it took me a while to get it out of him. Turns out it was the anniversary of his mother's death. Poor kid just needed someone to talk to. So he told me the whole story. Half an hour later, he brings it back up again. I never clue what he was going on about. I sort of think it happened. Don't need to worry. I don't know what's worse, the sickness or the treatment. But the effect's the same. You know, if I'm quivering under a desk at work or lying around here in a drug-induced fog, I just don't feel like me anymore. And I end up taking it out on Tracy, the woman who's mad enough to want to marry me. Yeah, but for how long, though, eh? How long till she packs her bags? Is that really what you're worried about? I'm not the same man she got engaged to, am I? Trust me, mate. Tracy's not going anywhere except down that aisle on your wedding day. It's all I'm living for at the moment. I just want to fast forward to December 19. Well, you're not going to make the day come any sooner by taking yourself off your meds. But at least I'll still remember who I'm getting married to. You want to be in control, I get it. The best way to do that is to get yourself back to a psychiatrist and talk about a change to your drug regime. It might take weeks to sort out, but it's a... It's a lot better than crossing your fingers and saying she'll be right. You know that as well as I do. Devil alert, and it's not the good-looking one. Tanya, I really must apologize for last night. Must you? I'm sure if Rafe stopped to think about it, he wouldn't have intruded. For all his worldliness, he can be a little gauche sometimes. I... I didn't mind, honestly. That's because you have a very forgiving nature. I don't know about that. I can not a grudge with the best of them. Well, nonsense. In any case, I thought a small consolatory gift might be in order. Thank you. And I insist on buying you lunch. Oh, uh, she gets off at one. Perfect. I'll meet you in the cafeteria, shall I? Okay, um, I'll see you then. Very good. It's a bit too big to be a ring box, isn't it? It's from the bakery my mum goes to. I recognise the packaging. <laughs> He's going to propose by the end of the week, I guarantee it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're not here to apologize? Listen, I know what it is. I know what's wrong with him. Yeah, so do I, pneumonia. Legionnaire's disease, all the symptoms fit. What would you know about his symptoms? That's confidential information. Well, could it be Legionnaire's or not? Well, it's unlikely, but... But I could be right. Wouldn't hurt to run the tests, would it? No, he's not here. He's at home recuperating. So get him back in then. It could take weeks to get some results. You know that, right? Well, you better get onto it then, eh? Well, it's not just guesswork. Show him what you've got. Yes, I think you'd better. I didn't believe it at first when Hunter sat me down and made me read the data, but we won't know for sure till we do some more tests, and even if he is right, we still don't know the cause of the bacteria. But if you look at the time of year and the location, there's got to be some sort of link. I mean, we shouldn't be seeing that many pneumonia cases over the summer, and it's been consistent for the last few years. You think they've been misdiagnosed? Well, it's starting to look that way. We're not just here so you can say, well done, son. Um, Legionnaires is notifiable. Oh, I'm well aware of that. Uh, do you want me to contact the ministry? Uh, I I'd leave it for now, because we still don't have any confirmed cases. I thought you should be in the loop, that's all. OK, thank you. And, uh, well done, son. Thanks. Yeah, just one thought, though. Uh, all this data that you've been mining, how up-to-date is it? Oh, right up-to-date as of yesterday. Why? Right. Well, I'm just wondering how you got a hold of all this information uh, since you've been banned from the hospital. I gave it to him. Well, no one here has got time to do this sort of research. You know, I thought it was worth a punt and I gave him a second chance. I'm glad I did. You still love feeding the ducks in Hagley Park? Sunday mornings, usually. Well, Mum would be making lunch, Dad or one of the boys would take me. Happy days, huh? I was always scared of the geese, though. <laughs> Bigger than me. <laughs> Still 
still don't like them much. Found out what Scott is scared of. Losing himself. He's on those drugs, he feels numb, like he's not really there. He wants to fight this thing. Taking those pills makes him feel like he's already lost the battle. Looks at the future, and all he sees is more of the same. More drugs, more psychiatrists, more feeling like he's failed at something. Poor thing. The only thing he's looking forward to is marrying you. Well, he won't be fit to get married unless he keeps getting help. Well, I think he might be uh, ready to change his mind on that. Really? I did my best. You're really? Uh, hey, uh, I don't really have any room left for lunch after that cake, but, but I do want to talk to you. Of course. Oh. Look, I, I'm a bit worried that y you've maybe got the wrong idea about me and you. But I, I like working with you, and I love talking to you. you. You are not like anyone I know. I mean, who else is going to entertain me with the history of hydrochloric acid? I do have a certain novelty value. I'm not entirely blind to the fact. Uh, look, you are an incredibly sweet and lovely and intelligent man. Just not what you're looking for. I'm not looking for anyone. I have sworn off men, even the good ones. It seems a shame. A beautiful girl like you, with so much to give. I, I still give. <laughs> I'm a better nurse when I'm single, and JJ gets to see more of his aunt. He's a lucky boy. I'm not saying that this is forever, but for now, I... <laughs> damaged goods like me, I'm, I'm doing you a favor. Like... <laughs> the damage doesn't show. Perhaps it's more easily mended than you think. But... I'm sorry. Thanks for covering for me, eh? Why do you think I did that? Because I didn't want to look like I was in cahoots with a thief. I didn't steal the files, OK? Well, so who did? Hey, sorry. How did you get on with your dad? Ah, oh, of course. Someone who knows his way around a computer system and isn't averse to a bit of industrial sabotage every now and then. It wasn't Daniel. Uh, honest. You don't even know what you've been accused of. It was one of the nurses. That's all you're getting. I'll catch you at home. Do you want to keep bickering about who did what, or do you want to work out a plan? Oh, you just remember who you're talking to. Sorry. You're the great detective. What do you suggest? Uh, get Mr. Byrne back in for retesting. And? Check for bodies of still water in the area. I mean, that's the most likely cause. Well, it could still be in the uh, soil. Just as well I didn't chuck those samples then. What samples? Um, the ones I took from the vineyard when I thought it was pesticide. So now we can add trespass to your list of crimes, can we? Well, I did what I had to do. I didn't hurt anyone. Just get those samples tested, OK? What did TK have to say? Everything you asked him to say. Did it make any more sense coming from him? Yeah, it did, actually. Did he tell you to see a psychiatrist? Yes. So, have you made an appointment? No, and I'm not going to. Scotty! I got a lot of stuff off my chest today. I feel much better. Yeah, and you said the same thing after one two-hour counselling appointment. You thought you were cured then, too. And what happened next? You had a full-blown panic attack. This is different. How? How many times are you going to put me through this? Do you want me to get better or not? Of course it I do. It doesn't sound like it. I tell you I'm coming right, and then you throw back a whole lot of reasons why I'm not. Because I know that you're kidding yourself. Yes, you're going to get better. Of course you are. But it is going to take more than a cup of tea and a man-to-man -man with TK. Then why pay a shrink for the same thing? TK's happy to talk any time. Because that's not what you need. Oh, what I need? Everybody knows what I need apart from me. My opinion counts for nothing. All right, then tell me. Easy. I need to throw away those pills, forget about the last couple of months, and get on with planning a wedding with you. Scotty... Marrying me isn't going to fix things any more than chatting to TK, and it's not fair on me to hope that it will. You need help. And if you don't have the guts to get it, then I'm sorry, but I really don't think there's going to be a wedding. Scotty, don't...
told him that the wedding was off. I really don't know what to do. Hey, is she prepared? I meant every word. To throw their love away. You don't want to marry me. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.